hey guys in this video i'm going to talk about how to store bot activity in azure queue storage if you want to try out this sample you need azure account if you don't have it create the azure account it's a free up to 12 months you can use it let's start first thing is you no need to write any code here i have created the connection mechanism you can just drag and drop it and pass the required parameter automatically the activity is stored into the azure queue storage at the moment this package is not published in the new get here you can able to find this it will take some time to publish it but i can provide the uh, new gets a uh, path where you can download it so you can change it into the local you can put into the local server and you can start using it i changed to my local new get server it's called preview it's nothing it's a one of my local drive click this one install the package let packet get installed meantime we go to the azure here the storage account i have created one project composer demo store you can see there are four different kind of storage is available we are going to use the queue storage this one at the moment there is no data in the queue and you so you need to connect the composer you need to connect the storage account for that you need the connection string that you can find in the access key once go to the access key show key here you can find the key one key connection string key and everything available i'm going to use a key one the connection string i copy here and go to composer meantime yeah the package get installed go to main application where you want to okay which activity you want to store it you can just drag and drop this uh, component we can start is it let it uh, store into the unknown intent the unknown intent go to add node and you can see the menu azure sub menu queue and activity click this one store activity azure queue storage so we drag and we just add the component here the next thing is we, here you can see the connection string the connection string we just copied from here copy to clipboard and paste the connection string next our queue name okay under which queue your data should be stored so you have to provide the queue name the queue name should be the lower case maybe i provide the queue name composer demo my queue name and the visibility time of how long the you know your message should be visible in the queue how long the your message should be live in the queue so you can provide it if you need it at the, yeah it will work but at the moment i did not provide things i directly jump into the last property result property so result property gets stored in the dialog dot result will display this result send response dialog dot result that's it start the bot let bot start meantime we go and confirm it there is no queue under the composer demo my storage account is called as composer demo store my queue my queue name no data is available go to composer open web chat welcome to your bot let's send message hello hello queue here you can see we get some response from the component activity message id instruction time when get the message get expire and the pop receive time next visible this data is a queue uh, related information i'll show it uh, in in a minute so we go to uh, azure and we see the data get stored or not azure portal queue just refresh it here you can see our queue is a composer demo once you open this one inside you can see the message message id this is a this is id 8978 something like this this information is on your message queue id and when get inserted and expire time everything is available this one inserted time expire those information this is a complete bot activity this information 
maybe I try to copy and show into the notepad. Ah, it's not copied completely. That's fine. This is the idea. So if you want to make the confirmation, we send another message. Hello. The next message get also stored. Just go to the Azure. You can refresh it. Here you can see the next message gets stored. 